Welcome to the Oli and Juju Show. I'm Oli. And I'm Juju. And today we have an earthquake, people. That's right. Remember? No. I didn't, I didn't feel it. <laughs> I didn't feel it either. But I you know what? I a 4.4 at 4.04. Isn't that creepy? That's crazy. I was still asleep. Although, like, today I was really forcefully waking up by Oli and David. Sorry. That bought, that, that bought me. That bought you? I bought you? That brought me into a bad mood. People, we were supposed to work out at <laughs> 5 in the morning, and that just didn't happen. What time did you actually start working out? 5.30. So I was 30 minutes just wandering around like, okay, so we're going to work out in the dark. It was that. Anyway. Yeah. So, what is it that you guys do when you're in a bad mood? I snap at people. <laughs> How many people did you, like, snap out at work today? Not today. Today I gave them a break, but I'm usually, usually, like, um, <laughs> can I buy, no! You know? I see no Wait, but it was just a stapler. <laughs> no, yesterday I had a horrible day, and I was just, I had road rage, like, crazy, because people were driving too slow, and I wasted so much money, and I, it took me seven, almost seven hours just to do one smoke check. That's why smoking while driving is the best solution. Although I quit smoking. <laughs> We're not condoning smoking people. Shut up. We're not. You know, but seriously, do you think that it would be a good stress people reliever? with more, yeah, people with more um, road rage if they didn't smoke? Imagine if they banned smoking while driving, like cell phones. Oh my no. god, I think people will start like shanking bitches. And yeah, they'll like, probably pull over and fight. <laughs> That'd be cool though. That'll be entertaining. But anyways, yeah. um, I don't know. When I'm in a bad mood, I usually try and like calm down. But sometimes you just want to just fucking fuck a bitch up. You yeah. But when you're at work, you can't do that. No. But you know what's a good stress reliever? What? Sex. Yeah. Okay. Let's agree on that. Okay, do. Anyway, so we got a couple more suggestions for vaginas. Back to our vagina section. Yeah, I know, I know, it's like an ongoing thing, but I keep getting different, like, things, so. Yeah, people keep telling us, what about, like, vag? <laughs> vag? I like vag. I, I've, I've heard vag. Like, vag is still, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe vag isn't that great, huh? No. About cookie. We have cookie. Cookie, i never heard. I've heard of cookie, and it makes it sound like... It, it makes it sound like, I don't know, like, something delicious. <laughs> like on a platter, a fucking cookie, whatever. Uh, but I picture it and it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Of course you picture it and it's like, Ugh. Anyway, so what about Bush? <laughs> Bush. Bush. Mm, I'm not, I'm not liking Bush. <laughs> Me neither. So I'm still 80. Right? That's more like 70. Yeah. I heard on the news, I'm not going to say where, but that the Bush is coming back. Can you believe that? Uh, like, uh, women are starting to let it grow. And that's, I don't know if I agree with all Women, that. even men, groom yourself. Groom. Grooming. Manscape, ladiescape. Ladiescape. <laughs> we should kind of pen, pen that. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going to go on this week? We have a big, big drinking... St. Patrick's Day. Day. St. Patrick's Day! Oh my god! We gave up drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it means it, nothing. Is it really us. worth keeping our non-drinking... Diet for St. Patrick's Day? What do you think? If they should tell us if we should drink on St. Patrick's Day. I know. Okay, let's make it on this. If you guys say we can drink, then we will. But if you guys say fuck you guys, then we won't. It's up to you guys. Let us know, and I'll check tomorrow and I'll see if we can drink it. It may be up to you guys. We'll let you know if you did or not. That's only if you vote, though. But okay. So, guess what we have today, baby? David. Oh my god, I called you David! It's okay. I'm in love. <laughs> oh my god, people. Remember last week? What did we say? Special guest! Special guest. We're gonna have Oli here. Interview. Should I say? Oh, uh, I think we should make them wait. Okay. Well, yeah. No, just Stay say, tuned. How about a hint? Show okay. your wardrobe. My wardrobe. That guy. <laughs> you were <and> face. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be with him in a minute, okay? Hi. And today our special guest, if you might have guessed already, is Edward Cullen. 
I can't believe I'm sitting here next to Edward Cullen. I've been dreaming about this for years. Okay, I have to warn you. Just because I'm unconditionally and irrevocably in love with you doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you with the questions. Question one. Do you really expect anyone to believe that you and Bella haven't slept together? I mean, come on, you're a vampire. You ooze sex. Do I dazzle you? Okay. Good way of avoiding the question. Has she at least given you a blowjob? By the silence, I guess that's a yes. That lucky bitch. I always say too much when I'm talking to you. That's one of the problems. Did she swallow? I don't want to be a monster. So that's a yes. Eventually, you're going to end up doing her. By what I read, it's pretty crazy hot. I'm just going to do what I want now. And let the chips fall where they may. And by that, you mean Bella. Good for you. If I were her, I would have jumped on you the minute you growled at me. <laughs> So tell me, Edward, does Bella know about us? She might know by the way you keep looking at me. She wants to know if we're secretly dating. And she wants to know how you feel about me. Oh, Edward, you know how I feel about you. But we can never be. You're a virginal vampire and I'm a human girl. Do you think that I could be scary? <laughs> no. <laughs> Gay, maybe. But scary? No. Uh. <laughs> You've got a bit of a temper, don't you? Besides, I'm saving my energy for when I interview Vampire Bill. Maybe when you get tired of waiting for Bella, you and I can get together and play True Blood. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's all the time we have together. Do you want the world to know anything else? You are my life now. Okay. And now, I must go. Welcome back. I'm so confused. For what? What did I miss? My interview with Edward Cullen. Oh, God. Ah. Whatever. You know I'm saving myself for Vampire Bill. Yeah. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there once I'm another. joking. <laughs> so, we got shout outs to end the show. We do. Who would you like to give a shout out to? I would like to give a shout out to my brother, Richard who was very, very drunk this weekend, and I heard he had to be carried up to his room. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. So shout wow. out to you. Hope the hangover wasn't that bad. Well, I want to give a shout out to Carlos, who turned 27 this March 10th. Yeah. Was it the 10th? It was the 10th. Yeah, which was last this weekend. That's when my brother got drunk. Kudos to Carlos on the drink. I was there. I didn't um, know that drunk. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will see you guys next week. And hopefully we'll have some shots of our video. What video? Oh, no doubt video. Okay. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good yeah. Good. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye. So tell me, Edward. Does Bella know about us? She might know by the way you keep looking at me. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>